Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. At this point, I don't know what video you just saw. Um, most likely it was the unboxing of the board and the CPU, but I don't know what my upload schedule is going to look like because this isn't going live for about two weeks because there's a lot of content uh, going on the channel as the time of filming this. But we have something I'm pretty excited about. You know how I love budget solutions? Well, I have a $300, oh, I forgot to mention that in the last video, battle of the $300 computers, brand new with tax over 300 but before tax they're like 280 so yeah really interesting that's coming that's also coming down the road i don't know what point in the upload schedule but today we have thermal take i think thermal take making its debut on the channel we have the versa h15 it's a budget case it was 34.99 plus tax the 37 from change it looks to be solid i don't know yet i really haven't seen much about it but it definitely looks honestly even better than the uh q300l which as time goes on it's a fine case but it's just it's one of those things where building this is fine but if you have to take it apart and rebuild it it's it's a pain i don't like it the the, the mats come off and everything but other than that it's a good case but let's go ahead um let's unbox it maybe yeah let's unbox and take a look at it i'm, I'm pretty excited for it so you guys are a little bit of a different view for me today and i do apologize and i know this whole workshop bench is a hot mess right now been working on stuff the last couple days but let's go ahead and get this case open so actually we should really not follow yeah that's a bad idea I don't want to end up breaking something here. So yeah, this is from Thermal Take. I've not really done a lot on Thermal Take. Not to say their products aren't good. It's just they usually don't meet my flavor. Um, their water cooler, I think I've used in the past. Uh, the water extreme like 3.0 or 2.0 and it's fine. But yeah, they usually just, they do a lot of stuff that just didn't really appeal to me. But um, that's just why they haven't debuted before. I have nothing against them. Oh, the worst part of getting a case out is not getting electrocuted. I guess shocked would be the better way of putting it. So I know you guys aren't seeing it live here, but I'm not entirely sure you guys are all that interested in that aspect of the unboxing. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments section if you guys actually care seeing the case slide out. Well, here. Ugh. Well, no, that's a bad idea. Okay. So now we must safely remove the foam, which actually was quite easy. So, cool. Nothing yet, but we'll see. Already liking what I'm seeing to a degree. Random screw hanging out. I won't give them too many points for that. I mean, it's a QA problem, but it is what it is. Um, but I already saw two things I liked already, but I'm not gonna spoil it. So, first things first. Um, it does not have a side window, and that's fine. It's a $35 case. It does not need a side window. We have, I'm actually gonna lower this down a little bit here. Nice and slow. There we go. Yeah, put it all the way down, screw it. So we got nice mesh in the front. It looks fine, I'm cool with it. Return the five and a quarter. They did it okay, I'm okay with it. It'll look fine, it's the right uh, width. We have in the front, the USB 3 in two. What I don't like about that is that requires a second cable. I get it for backwards compatibility, but can't you, can you, can't you rely on the motherboard at this point? That's just my opinion, but you might use this for a budget order build, so I'm not gonna be too upset about that. Power button reset, headphone, microphone, good stuff. So I'm gonna show you, oh, okay, I thought I saw two things I liked, I don't like one, but again, I'm not gonna take points off on it, but let's look at the bottom. Dust filter, which I have absolutely no idea how this comes out. Ah, okay, sweet removable on a case like this this is done significantly better than cooler master did so props on that we have thumb screws on both sides so let's take a look at the back panel first Ugh. fail okay now what i like to do is i like to put the thumb screws back in immediately because i lose them 
Um, they're cheap thumb screws with the plastic ends, but they're actually easier to take off for that reason. They're not gonna scratch nearly as easy too. So I'm gonna do this for the uh, other side panel as well. So this is, this is a micro ATX case, only has four expansion slots. So uh, in this particular scenario, because of where the GPU is, you wouldn't be able to run Crossfire, unfortunately with this case, but I mean, we're really expecting to with a $50 CPU. I mean, if you want to, that's fine, but so. A couple things I like about it. So let's look up here. You have the ability to move the fan up and down a little bit. So I do like that. Props for them on that. Um, let's look at the back. Cable management is not really existent. And let me explain why. Yes, this part is puffed out a little bit, which is good, but there is no room here. So that is definitely something that if I was grading this, I would take off points. I feel that that should not be ever be a compromise. I'd give up other things in that, but they do have cable tie downs. So if you're making a basic build, I think we actually do have a modular power supply for this, believe it or not. It's like a BR, no, I think it's a BR450. It's actually quite tiny, but they do have cable, cable tie down. So that's good. We have a lot of room up here. So we'll be running probably the 24 pin over here. Um, this is this is pretty cool. So we have, I guess, two sleds for hard drives. Here are two spots for hard drives, which is pretty neat. Um, this looks to be. Let me see what this is. I'm curious. Ah, I see. So in this particular build, I'm actually probably gonna. I don't know if I'll remove this or not, but if you're just doing like say an SSD or something, which it looks like there's mounting holes all along here, you can remove the hard drive cage. I may or may not do that. I haven't decided yet. Um, let me put this in the right way. No, that wasn't the right way. I'll leave it out for now before I mess it up. Um, ooh. Okay, so I'll give I'll give them some points back. I'll tell you where I'm taking points off personally. I don't like the fact that these are like you have to remove them completely, but they do include one to put back in. So some credit where credit's due, I'll take it. Um, sleeved cable, so that's cool. Um, most of these are black, which is good, except for the HD audio. So that is, uh, and the USB, I think it is as well. But overall, it's really not bad. You have room in the front for fans, which is definitely a plus. I am probably, I have plenty of fans around here, so I'm probably going to put an intake fan in here as well, uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, you know what, this actually won't put out any heat really, so I'll probably just do an, just keep the exhaust fan. So, uh, but overall, I mean, definitely some things I could, uh, you know, complain about more, but I don't think it's warranted. You can actually put a water cooler up here. I think it would actually clear, believe it or not, if you look where, how far for, down this is. I'm not sure if I'd water cool in this case. Um, Actually, though, you know what, though? This actually might have some water cooling capabilities. So you can see this is recessed quite a bit. So again, I mean, I would probably, I don't know. I mean, it, it looks to be a fine case for budget, but if you're buying a 240 radiator, I mean, the cheapest one I've seen out there is 60 bucks. I would spend a little bit more money, like $60 on a little bit of a higher end case, but for budget, it is honestly perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and then stay tuned to the build log. So hopefully you guys kind of like my general analysis. Um, what I will say is I'm fine with the case. Definitely some quirks, but you just have to remember when you're dealing with stuff on a budget, you have to make compromises, case in point. If you can't afford a 9900K or 9700K, if it just doesn't make sense in your budget, then you're going to want to make a compromise and go Ryzen most likely, right? So, you know, you got to make sure you make the sacrifices where it seems fit. I would say use this case and buy and get an extra fan or two or if you have one laying around, if it means moving from like a 1050 Ti to a 1060 or to a 1070 or to a 1080, although at that point I'd be questioning maybe you really might want to get something a little bigger to house it, right? But overall, it's a fine case. It's good for budget builds. Um, I haven't seen the thermals, but I honestly think it should be perfectly fine for the builds that I do. So hopefully you guys do like this case. I do recommend it for budget builds. And if you do like this video, 
go ahead and let, let's like it. And then obviously if you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. Uh, I only featured this in the video, so there will be links that where to buy it. I did get this from Amazon actually, so that's where I'll link it to. Uh, but as always, this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions and stay tuned. We have a lot of videos dropping, assuming this is one of the earlier videos coming on the channel. But why, well, we'll see you soon. I'll also see you later on down the road.